a short introduction to UV coordinates. Here we have our famous simple guy and we want to assign a texture to him using UV texture coordinates. So first we need to assign UV texture coordinates. If we select the object and we go to the UV texture editor, which is on the poly modeling shelf, for me it's on the second row, you get the UV texture editor, where you can see all these UVs are a complete mess. So to assign it anything, we need to uh, get some kind of projection to start with. So we can simply create, for instance, a cylindrical projection, which gets us something that's not half bad. And if we adjust the wraparound, for instance, we can make it fit into the 1 to 0 range for the UVs. There's a little point sticking out there. So we could just simply take this UV and move it over to the center. There's actually two of them, so let's get those. And this one here, select and say move and zoom. And this one we can also do that with. So then we got something where everything is within the range. Um, let's apply an image texture to it to see what we're doing. And I'm going to be uh, to make it show up. Well, I'm going to assign a blint to it, which shows up great in the viewport. There we have our blint. And we put an image in there. We get the create render nodes window. And I'm just going to click on file once, which automatically assumes you want to use UV to texture coordinates. You get a place 2D texture node with it. The image is going to be our fun clown face again. Let's show texture. There we go. Eh, it's not half bad. It's there. So we basically assigned uh, an image to it using texture coordinates. Now it's not quite right here in the middle. There's kind of there's a lot of overlap, but if we take those UVs in the center, for instance, we can unfold them. Always advisable is to save before you unfold, and we can modify unfold. And I'm just going to do the. Uh, it's going to do 3D unfold by default. Doesn't matter at this in this point. So now there's no longer any overlap in the UVs. You can see if you move the UVs around, how the texture moves around on the object, and that's the principle of UV coordinates. You assign points, UV coordinates to each point in 3D and that will determine where the texture ends up on your object. And that's basically it. We need them to get the mouth down somewhere. It's actually going to be centered here. Make it a little bit wider, maybe with a soft selection. And once we have this, in object mode. Let's look at him. He is brilliantly textured. That's how you can use UV texture coordinates, 2D UV texture coordinates to apply color from an image to a 3D object.